Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you for stopping by. Selling dragon fruit over there? Damn. Not only does it look cool, it's also got one badass name. Is it tasty though? I've never had it before myself, but I would buy one anywhere. Just cause, uh, yeah, it looks and sounds cool. It's like buying an album for the cover art, you know? What, you're gonna buy something based on how it looks? Not even knowing how it tastes? It doesn't matter if it's a CD or a fruit. I just can't resist whatever catches my attention. One of these, please! Wait. How the heck do you eat these? Shot have figured you'd be an impulse shopper, Adachi-san. We're really opening up. What you looking at?
For real? Yeah. Let's give it everything we got. Give them hell. Time for a Sujimon battle. All right. Let's do this. You! You be pushing down! Uh, yeah! Shut him down! I'm feeling it! Nicely done! Show me what you've got! Can't so shut you up! Time to shake things up. This will put you down. Yeah. Well fought, yeah. everybody. Whoa! I'm so glad we won. with the style. Thank you. with the sign So this is the place? Malikana's got quite a little setup going here. Yeah, but still, it's weirdly quiet today. 
Last time we came, there were kids everywhere. Oh, look, there's one. These kids are pretty friendly, right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, no mistake. Something's off. Well, maybe someone's pulled the wool over their eyes, led them astray somehow. I guess that bit about rescanning the crime scene holds true. Hey, Kasuga? Could mean something here's changed. Maybe. Let's find out. The flames roared and swirled about. And so the enraged Nele, in all her wisdom, cast the greedy into the purging fires. <gasps> right. Isn't he supposed to be back at the island? The heck is he doing here? Welcome, Kasuga. It's nice to see you again. Uh, these guys are definitely a new addition. You don't seem too happy to see me. There a reason for the bodyguards? Ah, yes. These are Haku warriors. They are acutely sensitive to those who would wish me harm, you see. Dana and Callan out or something? Errand duty? If you have business with them, I can oblige. Though, I cannot stay the flame's judgment. Wonto's story. Was all that really true? Be real. What are you gonna do with all those kids? They're scaring me, Father Bryce. <laughs> Fear not, my child. No evil can withstand a Haku warrior's spirit. What we should do now is pray. Let us beseech Madame Nele to envelop them swiftly and painlessly. How do you like that? He's got him taking pity on us. Akane-san took Lani and ran from here. That's why you're after her. You might act calm, but I know you're getting desperate. Normally, you keep the gangs out of the public eye. But right now, you've got all hands searching high and low. Palikana's flames purify everything they touch. They encompass all doubts, all hesitations, and return them to the ashes. What happens when you find them? Just kill them and move on? I will cleanse what I can. And must. And as for what that shall be, whatever or whomever, <laughs> it is my role granted to me by the flames to determine. You're stalling. Answer the damn question! Fires have mercy on you. Bryce! Heretics be gone! I'll take you down! You're going down! I can do this! Going in. Let's see you 
try. Don't get caught. Let's see you try. Oh man, that hurts. Time to go all out. Are you a puppy? Oh, come on. I gotta do something about this. Let's get it done. Ready as I'll ever be. Here I come. Yes, I'm a th I think I'm getting better hey, at this. I'm even stronger Look at me now. go. Bryce, that bastard. I guess we're not chasing after him. What's going on here? <gasps> oh, Dana. Callan. <sighs> Hasuga. I see. So Bryce really did send you out for errands, huh? Yes. He said the food bank was in urgent need of resupply and asked if we could pick everything up. We rarely get instructions like that from Bryce himself, however. So we did think it a little strange. Right. Then you came back to this. Yes. Uh, Kasuga, about what you said, Halekana's true intentions i just find it so hard to believe where's it all coming from oh yeah guess you wouldn't know i mean i had a feeling that was the case anyway you and callan and all well you didn't seem like the type to hurt these kids not at all uh, honestly we have no idea what you're talking about we never knew bryce was controlling the gangs nor that he was after akane's life callan dana i know i'm an outsider here Egg, I only touched down in Hawaii just a little bit ago. I can't blame you if you don't want to believe me. Not when these are such big claims. So, for what it's worth, I won't ask you to. That said, you saw what happened here with your own eyes. Those were Ganja, Barracudas, and armed Polycana members. They ganged up on us and tried to kill us. <laughs> as far as Polycana goes, I say there's a lot you don't know about and more where that came from. Now, with that in mind, if there's anything you forgot to tell us, would you please fill us in? For starters, we've been told that those who pilgrimage to Nele Island live in peace the rest of their days. As a result, many children here have been recognized as Haku and sent away. We've taught them they must keep the faith, that one day they can become Haku too, of course, this has gone on for decades. <laughs> However, a long time ago, I told Callan about an experience I had. Nele Island had welcomed one of our kids. But I later saw them right here in Honolulu. Dana, you shouldn't. Uh, 
Once you go to Nele Island, Halekana says you're there for the rest of your life, right? Yes. So it shouldn't have been the case. At first, I thought maybe I was mistaken. Their face was totally different, after all. But still, they'd lived here for years and were practically family to me. The way they talked and behaved was just how I remembered. So, with that, I approached them and asked. They said I had the wrong person. You still think it was them, huh? <laughs> I do. I don't know the details, but my guess is they underwent some kind of surgery. I mean, changing your face is one thing, but your voice is another. I'd know that voice anywhere. Without a doubt, it was the same child I thought to be on Nele Island. <sighs> I wanted to talk with them some more, but they ran off, almost as if they were trying to escape. I never saw them again. So, wait, what did it all mean? The Nele Island kids are sneaking back under new identities or something? Long Toe's story does line up, if I remember right. Yeah, he said Bryce makes his followers faithful as can be. Then he slips them into Ganja and the Barracudas as spies. Dana, the kid you saw, what were they wearing that day? They were in a police uniform. Huh? Bryce isn't just shipping his pawns off into Hawaii's gangs. If he's got cops, he's probably got lawyers, politicians, and even businessmen. Anyone who holds some kind of power. Worse, he's built this over decades, with tons of people. Influence like that would give him control over the whole city, his own network. I see now. Melee Island's like a training facility. Bryce gets his pawns geared up and ready to go, then sends them back here. That can't be. He's a monster, that Bryce. And he's been using your beliefs for his own gain. <sighs> what on earth do we do now? What are we supposed to say to that? I don't know. Look, you might have come to terms with all this, but I just can't do it. It's real, it's fake. I've got no idea. Even hearing all that, Palekana's teachings are all I know anymore. If they said I could go to Mele Island, I would go. I, I would want to go. That's what I taught the kids. That's what I believed. As far as my faith's concerned, I choose to stand firm. Oh. I need to get started on the children's dinner. Some of them won't ever have anywhere else, you know. This place is their last bastion from the world outside. If it's all right, for their sake, can you not mention any of this in front of them? Hang on a minute. You'd really send more kids out there? Even after everything we've said? The chosen children only get sent to the island twice a month, and that's at the very most. Either on the new moon or a full moon. Suffice to say, they won't be doing so for a while. We've got to find Akane-san fast, before the next window rolls around. This orphanage needs answers, and we need to know if the island's safe. Maybe she'll have an idea or two, yeah? Well, our mission's starting to pack on a lot of weight. No wonder the Dragon of Dojimo is on the case. Yeah, but if we pull this off, We'll save more people than we know. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. Well, you back in Japan already? Yeah, you were out like a light. Almost thought I'd let you keep snoozing. Thanks for the wake-up call. Yeah, sure thing. Anyway, just got an update from Ichiban. He said they nearly cornered the Sage of Palekana, but he ended up slipping away. 
And on top of that, Akane and Lani are still missing. Anything changes, he'll let us know right away. Sounds good. But as far as Hawaii goes, we're leaving that for him and the gang. Right now, you're seeing a doctor. Otherwise, you and I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I know. Nanda-san? Doctor, how's our guy holding up? I'm sorry to say, but he's only getting worse. He seems to be aware of that himself. <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised he made it here on foot and not in an ambulance. The cancer's taken quite a toll on his body. He must have a will of iron to have pushed himself this far. Is there really no hope for him left? To improve his chances, I recommend giving him round-the-clock care as soon as possible. Or, at the very least, some bed rest. Recuperating at home is another option. Yeah, right. But knowing him... Yes, he made it very clear he wasn't interested in any of that. And it is up to the patient to decide. All I can do as a physician is offer advice. Now, I imagine you've already done this, but if you could encourage him to start taking care of himself. Coming from a friend, his mind might change down the road. Yeah, that's what you think. This might not be my place to say, but he acts as though he's given up on recovery. It's almost like he's rushing to his death. I'm afraid there's no other way to put it. I'm sure it's frustrating watching him do that to himself. He's got a strong mind, a stout heart, and what was once impeccable physique. He's also as stubborn as a mule. Yeah. Tell me about it. Here, make yourself at home. Each of won't mind. Ugh. Sorry, it's such a pigsty. I'll find you a better place to hole up eventually. No, I'd honestly rather stay put. Less eyes on me here than some hotel. After all, I'm not even supposed to exist out there. Uh, right, there's that. Hanawa-san actually told me a couple things. Like how I should call you Taichi Suzuki in public. That's my name whenever shit hits the fan. Sorry if it's throwing you off. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, there is one thing, though. What? The doc was telling me earlier how you're not open to any treatment. Are you sure that's what you want? With all the recent advances in medicine, I'm sure you don't have much to lose by trying something. I can even ask around about options. Things that are proven to help with cancer. Drop it. I've already heard enough. The Daidoji faction researched my condition to hell and back and found nothing. <sighs> and besides, it's not like I haven't tried anything. I was thinking I could hold myself together, at least until Akane and the girl were safe. But right in the thick of it, my body gave up on me. Guess I was a fool to hope. Curious, son. if I come in? Go ahead. <sighs> you know, I was hoping you would rest, not work yourself to the bone. I'm serious here. Why else would you come all the way back to Japan? I just thought it wouldn't kill me to lend some support from the sidelines. Now, I've been looking into Polycana. Sure, you can guess how that's going. The internet's a dumpster fire, ain't it? But hey, I'm sure Achan will figure something out. Look, I'm all for supporting the team, Kiryu-san. But sometimes, that means knowing when to take the bench. <sighs> 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 
Don't waste your breath, Namba. It's impossible to talk him out of anything. Namba, is this your doing? <laughs> yeah, I happen to bring some company. Oh, but don't worry. She's a face you can trust. The moment you turn your back on him, that laptop's gonna be wide open. Even if all he does is type in circles. You brought Comey Jewel's leader? Yeah, why not? Son, he's an old friend. And apparently the queen of Ejincho. She runs the Liuang now, too. In other words, we're all outcasts here. And don't flatter yourself. You're not the only one I know who's dead on paper. So relax. I'm sure the Daidoji people won't give you too much grief about me. Why are you here? Just thought I'd save a dying man the trouble of paying me a visit. Besides, in our world, you're pretty much the top of the food chain. And in that sense, the privilege is all mine. Surely that's reason enough. Hey, uh, it's not like I ratted you out to her. She just caught wind of you first, like a spider to the fly. <sighs> I remember. Nothing happens in this town without the Comey Jewel knowing it first, huh? Mind if I take a seat? I brought some of the best Korean medicine money can buy. Okay, but as a former nurse, I can't exactly sign off on that for her. Well, it's not every day a dragon comes to town. And what better way to pay my respects? That doesn't surprise me. Kasuga's gonna be Kasuga no matter where he goes. I wonder how he draws so many people to his side. Is it that heroic charm of his? Heroic charm? <laughs> you may be onto something. Yeah. He does have this certain effect on you. But the more you're around him, the more you can't help but help him. Silly as it sounds, he might just be a real hero. Just don't tell him you said that. He'll be over the moon for weeks. What? I have something on my face? Kiryu-san, let me ask you. What's your all-time favorite food? Hmm. Why food all of a sudden? I'll put it another way. If you were about to die, what would you want to eat right before? Let's call it your last supper. Sunny, what is with you right now? Is that really the way to ask? It doesn't bother me. But now that you mention it, what would be a good last meal? You see there? Nobody takes that long just to think up their favorite food. What's your point? I'm saying your complete lack of an answer only shows how little time you've spent on yourself. You've always lived your life for someone else. You even spent a decade in prison so your sworn brother wouldn't have to. Really? He did that? The crime he took the fall for was patricide. After you got out, you ended up losing Yumi Sawamura, so you took her daughter Haruka under your wing. And now, here you are faking your own death, all to protect your loved ones. But with the real thing on the horizon, why not use these precious last days for yourself? Uh, you do have a point there, son He, And I agree. The thing is, I can't help but wonder. Yeah. Why do you care so much about me, anyway? There are a lot like you in the Komi Jewel. See, we once served the Jingon Mafia, who had absolute authority over our lives. But even with them long gone, their oppression still lingers in many of our hearts. I've seen too many of us waste away in fear and regret until there's nothing left. It kills me every time. Well, I don't remember asking for your guidance. True. But while you're in my town, you're on my turf. And if I let the dragon of Dojima die full of regrets, I'd never stop kicking myself in the ass. You've really got away with words. Do I look like I'm that close to death's door? Come on. I wouldn't say that. 
But from here on out, it really wouldn't hurt to focus on some self-care. At least, I think that's what Sunhee's getting at. Yeah, more or less. Focus on self-care, huh? Easier said than done. What would you guys do in my shoes? Huh? What would I do? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't come up with something on the spot. I can. Now, uh, let's see. Actually, I'd probably go and wind at the batting center. Hitting the ball's a bit like therapy. Especially after Jungi gives me sass. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather not put Curious on to anything strenuous. Right now, the man needs rest more than anything. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm not gonna collapse from batting. Good. <sighs> then let's go score a few home runs. Now? <laughs> Come on, it's now or never. Besides, the night is young and there's plenty to do. Kicking things off with baseball sounds like the start of a good send-off to me. You're really serious. <laughs> hey, count me in. I think Sunny's got the right idea. A night on the town will be good for you. Not like you were gonna lie down anyway, right? All right, you got me. But there's still some drink left, you know. Don't tell me the legendary dragon's concerned over a few drops of alcohol. Okay, from now on, if you're ever thirsty, I'll be the one to pour. When you've been in the business as long as I have, it's nice to finally share a glass on equal terms. And be honest here, would you rather get tipsy with me or Nanba? Well, when you put it that way. Oh, now you're just fighting dirty. No matter what you boys say, I'm coming with. My town, my rules, and don't forget it. Evening, folks! Can we ask you guys something? Huh? Oh, we just happened to lose our wallets. So, uh, mind handing over yours? Hey, Miss Queen of Ichincho, your subjects don't have any manners. Not my job to teach the village idiots. <sighs> and in true idiot fashion, they're embarrassing me in front of my guest. Worst possible timing, too. You don't have to feel embarrassed. They're also a plague where I'm from. Yo, we don't have a fucking day! You gonna give us your money or what? T screw it! Let's just skip to the violence! Good thinking. <sighs> Kiryu-san, we'll handle it from here. Excuse me? I already know what you're gonna say. Don't waste your energy on these knuckleheads. You're gonna need that energy for later. We're having the most damn fun you've ever had. Right, and didn't I just say, you're in my town, which makes you my honored guest. And it's a host's responsibility to clean things up. You guys. On that note, it's time to take out the trash. Get ready for some middle-aged whoop-ass. He's in, he's in, bring it on. What? What are they? Kiryu-san, what's wrong? Feeling woozy all of a sudden? No, it, it's not that. I... I just... don't know what I'm seeing. Huh? Wait a minute. This must be what Kasuga was saying. About how his enemies would turn into monsters. Hold up. So now it's not just Ichiban hallucinating? You boys can talk nonsense some other time. We're in a fight here. Listen, I appreciate your concern, both of you. 
but letting others fight my battles has never been my thing. So I can't just sit back on the sidelines. Besides, I could use a warm-up for the cages. Fine. Just try not to overdo it, okay? It's my turn. <laughs> Allow me. Think you can handle this? Yes. Okay. Watch this. Hope this hurts. Doing all right, Kiryu san. Yeah, thanks. Glad you guys were with me. No, no. If anything, it's the other way around. I mean it, though. Really. If it wasn't for you two, I never would have seen through Kasuga's eyes. Oh? When he first told me about it, I didn't believe him. But having allies at your side changes how you view the world. It really does make you feel like a hero. Kiryu-san? What the heck, so the battle visions are limited to you and Ichiban? Guess that's something special then, huh? What, you'd rather be hallucinating monsters too? Uh, maybe not so much. Well, in any case, I believe we were on a mission. Right. Sworn I saw some. Should I open it? Nice. like curry that sense irresistible you said it i'll eat curry even if i'm not hungry i actually really like preparing it too you make a bunch and let it sit for a week it enhances the taste wait hold on 
A week? Wouldn't it go rancid? You'll either end up with a rich, deep flavor, or food poisoning. The ultimate gamble, forbidden cuisine. Some stakes are too high to gamble with. All right. So, on the morning news, they had this segment on divination. According to that, my lucky color is pink today. Huh. Wouldn't have guessed you were into that sort of thing. I mean, I don't go out of my way to follow that stuff. But once it grabs my attention, I get a little curious. I can relate to that. Although, I don't have anything pink on today. Not even a single accessory. Guess that means I'm all out of luck. If you look in the mirror, I think you'll realize just how lucky you are. <laughs> what about the color of your hair? Um, oh, right. Things are going well. Looks Real. good. Thanks for that. That was great. That's certainly food. Arigatou gozaimasu. Mmm, the smell of yakisoba always brings to mind summer festivals. It's been quite a while since I've been to a festival. Did you ever play at the booths? Well, it's not like I went all that often. I was pretty good at catching goldfish, though. I would spot a fish that had its guard down and track its movement for a while before scooping it up with a flick of my wrist. I can catch tons of them. However... Ah. What? More DVDs. Hmm. Is there a movie that you want to see? Not really. Jungi rented a pile of them the other day. Apparently, he finally found a copy of this drama that he's wanted to watch. Actually, did he ever return those? I swear I saw them in front of his monitor earlier. He's very talented, but he can be a little scatterbrained. You're surprisingly protective of him. I doubt he's actually that helpless. Well, I do tend to coddle him a bit. That's just another aspect of how you two support each other. But double-checking that return date is probably not a bad idea. Ugh, what a pain. All right. A mountain of trash. In the middle of the city. Hey, curious on watch yourself. Hmm? What's wrong? You never know what kind of wildlife's hiding in there. I once got attacked by a raccoon in that heat. Those things are vicious. I barely defended my spot. Uh, what's that look for? Figured you'd think I was courageous. You couldn't just let the raccoon have the trash mountain? Things are going well. Irashaimase! <laughs> Thank you. 